that one. I'm trying to see if it had a. Oh! oh. <gasps> Damn it! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, as uh, the link says above, um, this is going to be a black radiance haul slash first impressions and um, try-ons and good stuff like that. It's gonna be like a tutorial. Um, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you. But um, yes, yeah, so just like I said, judging from the um, going off of by name of my my link here, it is gonna be some first impressions and try on some one thing I already I already have already. The rest of the stuff is new. Um, so the first thing is gonna be their high their new highlighter. This was just launched maybe like a week and a half or a week ago or so. So this is baby spanking spanking new. It just just came out. Um, it's I think it's called Magical or Magician. I'm not sure if not i'm going to link it down below so you guys can take a peek at it and um go check it out yourself but again this is their new highlighter i do have it have it on and i do <laughs> got it on my lids and my lips so <laughs> i use this thing today so I, I put some good use to it so i'm gonna be trying that and then also i'm gonna be also trying of course their banana powder everybody i've been hearing good reviews about it I'm going to be trying this out. I did hear some stuff about having flashbacks, but we're going to see. Um, I'm going to try to insert a clip in or insert a video or picture or something like that. If I am not able to do it, then I'm going to uh, post a picture on uh, my Instagram. So if you guys follow me, you'll be able to see if it has any flashbacks or not. So yes, yeah, so this is the banana powder um, that is with Black, that's, um, by Black Radius. It's kind of new, um, maybe like a year, year old, maybe. Please don't quote me, but I know it's, it's, it's fairly new. It's not like it's been out forever. It's, it's quite new, and like I said, I've heard good stuff about it, so I'm gonna try it out myself. And the next thing is the Blushing Bronze Palette. This is kinda new, maybe, maybe about a good year, two, well, I guess it's not that, that new, but it's new enough. Um, <laughs> so I, I got, it says limited edition, so, mm newish guess but i got it in dark deep um um it comes with a contour color it comes with a blush and it also comes with a highlighter um yes yeah, so we're gonna be trying out the blush mainly today um i'm not gonna really mess with this highlighter because i'm already gonna be using one for another one speaking from another one this is already one that i have this is the only thing that i um oh not the only thing i own but this is as what i have out of my haul this is the only thing that i already have i just bought another one well this is my used one but um i put the new one in my caddy but um this is one i already I already have and i already love so i'm going to be using uh this contour palette here and i'm a contour palette <laughs> I'm not gonna be using it, but I'm gonna use this color here, and I'm gonna be using that sculpt color today. And again, this is a holy grail for me. I already have this already. I just bought another one, just to include in my haul to have a backup. But I have this one in medium dark. If you guys can see, it's uh, Maze Balls. It is one of my holy grails, like I said. And then the next thing I'm going to be trying out is their um, their contour brush. It is. Tell you my table. My table's all jacked up, y'all, right here. <laughs> um, it is a dupe for the NARS one. I didn't want to pay that NARS price, so I wanted to try something that's very similar. So we're going to be trying this out. I'm going to be contouring with this today. Um, I'm going to list. I'm trying to go ahead and list all the prices and um, the links and stuff below, so you guys can check them out and buy their buy their stuff. They're super affordable. I think this thing was like four ninety nine. I think everything that I have was like seven ninety nine and under. Like the powder was seven ninety nine. I believe their contour palettes are the same. They're um, seven ninety nine. And I had caught a deal too. You might want to check them out too. At least right now they have a I think buy one get one half off off their like face stuff, like contour palettes and stuff like that. So I did manage to catch a sale. Um, and they always know me do something like you get a free gift or you get a sale or something like that So but this time I caught a little buy one but get one half off. I was wondering why my cart went down I won't question but my cart went down and then like I missed the email somehow and, and I ended up going to their Instagram and I seen that they had a um, Buy one get one half off so you Never know we might catch a good sale with them. So yes, I'm gonna be trying out these products and I'm going to um 
do a video on this look and how and what I use on this look right here. So I hope you guys enjoy and um, yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so I've already did my colors. I've already did a black base and then I did some crease colors. I did my brows, got that part out the way. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is, I was trying to come up with the idea of popping the Black Radiance new highlighter into my, uh, to be like a main color on my lid. That's why I laid down the black because how the way this highlighter looks, it looks kind of dark and then it has like green flakes on top. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but I think it'll be bomb with the black base. I feel like it'll make it pop more and then I'll spray some Fix Plus or something like that on it to um, on the brush, dip it in here and you know, pat it on my leg and see how that works. Hopefully it should. Normally when you do that, it normally gives a good, um, good pigmentation so yes that is what the that is what the highlight looks like it has some like little green flakies in it sorry my ring light and my ring my my lighting is not where i want it to be right now do my best and i believe it's the three it's the 3d highlighter i think it's called magical or magician no or something like that sorry but yeah so i'm gonna give you guys a swatch too so you can see what it looks like so that's what it looks like open don't mind that pink lipstick on my uh, hand so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it on my hand so don't mind that pink like I said you see what I mean how I said that it um, has like a reddish I think I don't know if I said black first but it's like a reddish undertone but then it gives you some green look at my finger that thing is popping baby <laughs> it gives you like a um, green tint in there it's really nice so I think that would be really cute on my lids so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that BB into my lid So I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more, you know, not add a little, well, yeah, a little bit more. Um, put, probably put some dark uh, or black or whatever, probably right there. And then when I come back, I should have my foundation on because then I'm gonna go ahead and do some contouring with their, um, stop shaking, do some contouring with their palette <laughs> and then also, um, use their blush and that good stuff and I'm probably gonna use that highlighter too as a highlighter because <laughs> I'm loving green so guys so um yep catch you in the next clip catch you in the next clip all right so now I got my foundation on I went on ahead and highlighted as well so um now we're going to the part we all been waiting for is the uh black radiance banana powder and here it is all right champ.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the contour, the True Complexions Contour Palette by, of course, Black Radiance. It is the medium to dark one. I already have this already. I just bought another one because I just wanted to back up. <laughs> but I like to, um, if you can see the colors here, I like to use that as a contour. I like to use that as an all over face, all over face, <laughs> a all over the face type of color because it's close to my skin tone. So I just set it in like, if I, or if I sometimes, like I said, accidentally wash myself out, I'll use that to bring some color back into my face. I guess you can kind of see a bronzer kind of ish. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so it's kind of like a bronzer, if you should say, like I said, or I'll just set my whole face with it because it's my skin tone. Um, and then here is a nice highlight. So yeah, so I am going to go ahead and sculpt which is that color that's in the middle that's closer to my skin tone and um, place it all over my face. All right. And then, so I've been waiting to use. Their contour brush. So this is like a dupe for the NARS one. Um, so <laughs> I went ahead and tried their version and we'll see how it does. This is what it looks like. It has their logo right there. And um, you can see how the brushes are kind of like in there a little bit. That's the part I kind of don't like a little bit because it's looking like, and you can look and see like how it's knitted and stuff. That's a little weird to me, but whatever. As long as it does the job, I don't care. But that is what the brush looks like. That's what it looks like on this side. And it's a contour brush, so you know you do the thing. You gonna do what thing. So I'm going to go ahead back into that same palette, that medium to dark, and I'm going to go ahead and tap, tap, tap. And come on. I am going to take, go in with the banana powder and I'm going to clean it up a little bit.
powder and I'm loving it. I am. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to come back because I'm gonna probably use that highlighter as a highlighter. So since I, oh, actually take that back. Let me go ahead and use this blush right quick. I've been dying to use this blush. Okay, so this right here is uh, the dark, the, yeah, dark to deep. What is it? The uh, uh, blushing bronze palette. Like again, I have the dark to deep, and here is the contour color. Here is the pretty blush color, and then that highlight is so pretty. It actually looks better in person. It's not showing up on my camera. That's right. Really nice. All right, I'm back. I went on ahead and popped on my lashes and did a couple touches to the eye, popped a little color into my tear duct, and then went under my eye and did the liner and all that good old stuff. So now I'm probably gonna go ahead and try this highlighter out, see if I want to use it as a highlighter. Too. It looks like an extra contour, like if you're not looking on the side. So, um, yeah, let me try my BH. BH, the um, backlight one, they have a green in here, so let's see what we can do. Because I don't think I'm looking at All right, so enough of that. <laughs> um, like I said, I think that may be like my least favorite uh, of all that I got is the highlighter because it um, comes up red on me. Like you see the green, but I don't know. Maybe I have to play with it a little bit more. I don't know, maybe. So um, let me see. So that's that. So I'm gonna pop on a color. I was thinking of red in my mind. I'm hoping this goes well. <laughs> so let me find my red. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, Ruby Woo by MAC. I'm gonna go back in with the MAC 
lip gloss in uh, the shade Baby's a Vamp. is going to be my final look. Okay. So I am going to take my Morphe um, Continuous Setting Spray. I'm gonna set my face. Okay, you guys, so this is my final look. I am going to be back. I'm going to go ahead and put on the wig and finish the look. All right. And I hope you guys like this final look. Okay, guys, here is my final look. I just went on ahead and just, you know, bend it a little extra. The long, all green. Told you green is my favorite color. So I was like, you know what? Since it's highlighted, got some green in it, we just going to go green. So this is the final look. Yeah, so this is the final look. I went ahead and did a green lip and I popped that highlighter color on my lip on top of the green. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. So my final thoughts, I, I mean, the highlighter is gorgeous. Like I would use it for different stuff. Like I wouldn't use it as a highlighter. Um, I mean, the green is pretty. It's just that undertone I'm not feeling. It makes, I have golden, I have golden undertone. Sorry. I have golden undertone. So, um, it looks kind of weird to me because it's kind of red. So, but as far as using it as a, uh, using it as a, like a, like a lip topper or to use it like on my eyelids, like I did today, I think that is absolutely perfect. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's a pretty color and I love green. So it's, it's, it's a go. It's not like my favorite favorite but I can use it for multiple uses so it's not like it won't go to waste and it won't just sit in my um my caddy or sit in, like in my little makeup collection and whatnot so yeah so um and the highlighter is this here you see I got the pretty gold uh, flakes up in there and it has like the you know the weird ready undertone going on but i still use it it'll still get used i love it as i definitely love it as eyeshadow it's bomb this eyeshadow look is bomb so i'm down for it and this like i said um i'm not sure if i mentioned in the video already but this is like an oldie but goodie to me um it does say new on it but it, it's not new i got this like a couple years ago um so this is my used one but i did buy another one for a backup um, that was included, you know, in the haul that I did. So yeah, uh, this contour palette is bomb. Again, this is in the shade dark to, wait, medium to dark. It is uh, made balls. It's really nice, uh, super affordable, super pigmented. I love using um, that scope color as an all over the face color because it's close to my skin tone. So I use it for like all, all over. I think I might have used the highlighter before and it's actually pretty, pretty nice. It's just been a while, so I can't really say exactly like a good impression of it because I, I don't remember it's been it's been a while so you have this palette for a minute um so this one here is the what's it, the blush and bronze blushing bronze palette this is um this is kind of new um i know that contour palette is older but this is kind of new um i wanted to get it because it's been saying limited edition for a while, but I like to try to grab stuff if it is really limited edition. But um, the blush up here is really, really gorgeous. The, I haven't used the contour part in here yet, but it looks very, very similar to the one that's in my other, um, it's in my contour palette. The highlight looks pretty. It's really, really, I, I swatched it on my hand. It's a, um, let me see what I can do it now. Yeah, without the plastic piece, it'd be real nice. <laughs> so I probably can swatch it now. 
it is really like, I can't even really see if you can see it. It's like a really penny, it's like a penny type of color. It's really, really coppery. It's really pretty. It's just, it didn't go with this look, so I didn't, I don't know if you can see it well. God, I need to get some better lighting. See that? So, yeah. That shade, it's really pretty, just not for this look. So I'm definitely gonna probably use that color uh, soon. I'm always down for some pretty golds and coppery colors. Just not too coppery, because then it can start looking kind of orangey ready. So, you know, like I said, I bought it on the drone, so I try to stay from race to the best of my ability. Um, so the, um, what was that, 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 that. And the next thing, of course, is the banana powder. I actually can definitely say this is a yes. For me, um, I can try to add some clips in and see if I can get a flashback picture for you guys or try to get a video and whatnot. I'll try my best. Um, if not, I probably might post it on my on my Instagram. So if you guys follow me, you guys will see that. So yes, I'll say this is a yes. I really like the consistency of it. Um, it was easy to blend. It was easy to wipe away. Like I told you guys, I don't bake, but pretty sure probably awesome for baking but I just use it just to set under my eyes or set my highlight and highlight and press this highlight is really popping on I added the BH Cosmet on top of it that green green color um it's called laser it's a nice combo now together it's a nice combo just to gives me that little redness I would think next time if I do the highlight combo I'm gonna use the laser from BH first and then maybe top it with the um, beach color, I mean, with the black radiance. Maybe it might look a little better. Maybe it might not give me so much of that little, that redness kind of going on. I, I don't mind trying it over. I don't mind trying it over and see, see if it works for me. Um, but right now it's an okay thing. And I say okay, because it's pretty, but I still can use it. But it's not great, because I want to use it as a highlighter and I can't really. But I'm gonna play with it, I'm gonna play with it, I'm gonna play with it, I'm gonna play with it. But yes, this is a go for me. This is not. This is this is this is pretty pretty darn good. And for the price, it's only seven ninety nine. You cannot beat that at all. So um, I would say go for it, get it if you see it in the stores. Unfortunately, my Rite Aids, my CVSs and stuff around here is not that great. So I had to order online. But if you got it near you, get it. I, I would I would suggest to. Um, I suggest getting it. I like it. It's it's definitely a yes for me. So. Yeah, so that's it for my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, my first impressions and first time trying some products, except for that one product that I told you is already my holy grail. But yeah, this and this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I told you I'm right. I love green. I'm telling you, like I, bro, I got on green lipstick and a green wig, so that lets you know I really love green. So, um, yes, yeah, so I, got, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Like and comment if you like the look.